G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. There are a number of ingredients at play in this recipe and when you combine them all together, they taste delish. So join me today as I make my version of a creamy sausage and spinach pasta. Now to start off with, I have a fry pan on the stove on a medium to high heat. And to that, I've cut up some sausages. Now you can choose any flavor that you like. Choose your favorite to be honest. Personally, I'm going with a bacon and barbecue flavor. Now what I've done is I've just cut it up, as you can see, into small little bite-sized pieces. And we're just going to cook this over the medium to high heat yeah, for about five or so minutes, just until they're all cooked all the way through. Now once your sausages are cooked all the way through, if there's any excess oil, make sure you drain that out first. And once you've done that, I'm, I've cut up one onion, so I'm just going to place that right in. And we're going to fry this up for about another three to four minutes until the onions have softened up. Okay, now that the onions have softened up, I'm going to add in one can of diced tomatoes and then two cups of chicken stock or chicken broth. Now we're gonna give that a good mix through and keep the temperature up to a medium to high because we wanna bring it back up to the boil. Okay, now that's been brought up to the boil, I'm just going to add in our uncooked pasta. Now, just give it a good mix through, just make sure all the pasta is completely covered in the liquid. Okay, once it's covered up, we're going to turn it down to a simmer and we're going to let it simmer away for about 10 minutes just until the pasta is cooked al dente, which is not too hard and not too soft. Okay, now that the pasta is nice and cooked, I have about three cups of loose spinach. And we're going to add, say, about a cup worth at a time. And what we're going to do is just mix it in, let it wilt, then add another cup, then another cup. It just makes it easier to add it in stages as opposed to all at the same time. Now once you've added all your spinach, I'm just going to sprinkle on some low-fat cheese. But honestly, you can use any cheese that you like. And now all I'm going to do is place a lid on top and we're going to let that cook away for another few minutes just until the cheese melts. Okay, so our cheese is melted and mm -mm, smells delicious. Now here in Australia they're called spring onions. In the US I believe they're called green onions, but feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. So I've just cut a few up and I'm just going to sprinkle them on top for that extra yummy flavor. Now there we have an incredibly delicious dinner and a dinner that anyone can make. Now all these flavors in tandem work fantastic. And especially when you're using your favorite flavored sausages, it just goes down so well. But honestly, no matter what flavored sausages you use, you know it's going to taste simply delish. Now another thing I love about this recipe is everything is cooked in the one pan so your wash up is a cinch. Thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favor by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.